my dear students welcome back to our channel students in this video i am explaining telangana intermediate first year subject botany part a very short questions to marks let's start quick revision first important question is how are viroids different from viruses viroids are tiny infectious agents made of only rna while viruses have both rna or dna and a protein coat viroids don't have a protein shell and only affect plants causing diseases like potato spindle tuber disease viruses can infect both plants and animals and are much more complex like the flu virus which has rna and a protein coat so viroids are simpler and only harm plants whereas viruses are more complex and can infect many organisms next important question is an anther has 1200 pollen grains how many pollen mother cells must have been there to produce them each pollen mother cell pmc produces four pollen grains to find how many pmcs were needed for 1200 pollen grains we divide 1200 by 4 1200 divided by 4 equals 300 so 300 pollen mother cells were needed to produce 1200 pollen grains example if one pmc makes four pollen grains then for 1200 grains we need 300 pmcs next important question is hydrophytes show reduced xylem why hydrophytes are plants that live in water like water lilies they have reduced xylem because they don't need to transport water over long distances water is already abundant around them so their xylem is smaller or less developed for example in land plants xylem carries water from roots to leaves but in hydrophytes water enters easily from the environment reducing the need for large xylem next important question is what is paleobotany what is its use paleobotany is the study of ancient plants through fossils it helps us understand how plants lived in the past and how they evolved over time for example by studying fossilized plants scientists can learn about the climate millions of years ago this helps in understanding how plants adapted to changes and can guide us in predicting how current plants might respond to future environmental changes next important question is what does icbn stand for icbn stands for international code of botanical nomenclature it's a set of rules used to name plants in a consistent way this ensures that each plant has a unique scientific name which is recognized worldwide for example the scientific name for a rose is rosa and for a mango tree is mangifera indica icbn helps avoid confusion by making sure everyone uses the same name for the same plant no matter where they are next important question is what is meant by epipetalous condition give an example epipetalous condition means that the stamens male parts of a flower are attached to the petals in this case the stamens grow directly on the petals not on the flower's center an example is the solanum flower like a tomato or potato flower the stamens are connected to the petals making it an epipetalous condition this helps in pollination as the stamens are close to the flower's outer parts next important question is what is natural system of plant classification name the scientists who followed it the natural system of plant classification organizes plants based on their natural relationships like their structure and characteristics rather than just external features this system looks at features like flowers leaves and seeds to group plants scientists who followed this system include carl linnaeus 
who developed binomial nomenclature and later APD Candor. For example, plants like roses and sunflowers are grouped based on similarities in their flower structure. Next important question is, what is Omega Taxonomy? Omega Taxonomy is a modern approach to classifying plants and animals using both traditional features like shape and structure and advanced techniques like DNA analysis. It focuses on understanding all aspects of an organism's biology, not just its physical traits. For example, while older systems might classify plants based on their flowers, Omega Taxonomy would also look at genetic data to give a more accurate classification. This method helps in creating a complete picture of biodiversity. Next important question is, Name the type of pollination mechanism found in members of Fabaceae. The type of pollination mechanism found in members of the Fabaceae family is called insect pollination or entomophily. In these plants, insects like bees or butterflies transfer pollen from one flower to another. An example is the pea plant, Pisum sativum, where the flower's structure is designed to attract insects which help in pollinating and ensuring the plant produces seeds. The bright colors and scent of the flowers attract pollinators. Next important question is, if a tissue has at a given time 2048 cells, how many cycles of mitosis had the original parental single cell undergone? In mitosis, a single cell doubles each time. If we start with one cell, after one cycle it becomes two cells, after two cycles it becomes four, and so on. To find how many cycles it took to get 2048 cells, we use the formula. 2n is equal to 2048, where n is the number of cycles. 211 is equal to 2048, so the cell underwent 11 cycles of mitosis to reach 2048 cells. Next important question is, who discovered the cell and what was the book written by him? The cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He observed a slice of cork under a microscope and saw tiny box-like structures, which he called cells. He wrote about this discovery in his book Micrographia. This book was the first detailed publication about microscopic observations and helped introduce the concept of cells to the scientific world. Next important question is, what does S refer in a 70s and 80s ribosome? The S in 70s and 80s ribosomes refers to Swedberg units, which measure the rate of sedimentation during centrifugation. It indicates the size and shape of the ribosome. A higher number means a larger and heavier ribosome. For example, 70s ribosomes are found in prokaryotes, like bacteria, while 80s ribosomes are found in eukaryotes, like human cells. The difference in S values helps scientists distinguish between the two types of ribosomes. Next important question is, why is Mendel considered as the father of genetics? Mendel is considered the father of genetics because he discovered the basic laws of heredity through experiments with pea plants. He showed how traits are inherited from one generation to the next in predictable patterns, like how a tall plant always passes its height trait to its offspring. His work laid the foundation for modern genetics, helping us understand how traits like eye color or plant height are inherited. Next important question is, differentiate actinomorphic from zygomorphic flower. Actinomorphic flowers are symmetrical from any angle, meaning they can be divided into equal halves in multiple directions. An example is the radial symmetry of a sunflower. Zygomorphic flowers have symmetry in only one plane, meaning they can be divided into equal halves in just one direction. An example is the orchid, which only has one plane of symmetry. 
Next important question is Define population and community. A population is a group of individuals of the same species living in the same area. For example, all the deer in a forest make up a population. A community is made up of different populations of various species living together in the same area. For example, in a forest, the community includes deer, trees, birds and insects all interacting with each other. Next important question is Define placentation. What type of placentation is found in Dianthus? Placentation refers to the arrangement of ovules, seeds, inside the ovary of a flower. It shows how the ovules are attached to the ovary wall or to a central structure. In Dianthus, a type of carnation, the placentation is parietal. This means the ovules are attached to the inner wall of the ovary rather than to a central column. For example, in Dianthus, the ovules grow along the outer part of the ovary. Next important question is Give one example for each of amino acids, sugars, nucleotides and fatty acids. Amino acid alanine A is an example which helps build proteins. Sugar glucose is an example providing energy to cells. Nucleotide adenine is an example which is part of DNA and RNA helping carry genetic information. Fatty acid Palmitic acid is an example, a type of saturated fat found in palm oil, important for energy storage. Next important question is, Name two diseases caused by mycoplasmas. Two diseases caused by mycoplasmas are, 1. Pneumonia, a lung infection caused by mycoplasma pneumoniae, leading to symptoms like cough, fever and difficulty breathing. 2. Urinary tract infection, UTI caused by mycoplasma hominis, it can lead to painful urination and discomfort. Mycoplasmas are tiny bacteria that lack a cell wall, making them different from other bacteria and harder to treat with some antibiotics. Next important question is, what is the morphology of cup-like structure in cyathium? In which family it is found? The cup-like structure in a cyathium is a special type of flower arrangement found in the Euphorbiaceae family. It is a modified inflorescence that looks like a small, shallow cup. The male flowers are located around the edge, while the female flower is in the center. An example of this structure can be seen in the plant Euphorbia, which belongs to the Euphorbiaceae family. This unique structure helps in attracting pollinators. Next important question is, What is meant by pulvinous leaf base? In members of which angiospermic family do you find them? A pulvinous is a swollen leaf base that helps in leaf movement, allowing the leaf to bend or fold. This movement helps the plant respond to light or touch. Pulvini are found in plants of the Fabaceae family, legumes, like mimosa, sensitive plant, where leaves fold when touched. The pulvinus contains cells that control turgor pressure, enabling this movement. I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers and syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.